You're welcome to lesson 9, the final lesson in this study. We'll be looking at input operator in C. So far, we'll be talking about the output um, operator, the print F. But this time around, we want to look at the input operator. And um, I will be explaining this using um, a simple case study. As a C programmer, you have been asked by a client to write a program that can calculate the amount of food measured in fields that is needed to cover a football pitch. The program is expected to work for football pitch of any size. Of course, this is a very, very simple uh, program. Uh, basically, we're only using this to illustrate how to apply your um, input um, operator. So, let's go straight to the environment. Now, if you want to write this program, the first thing you need to note is that uh, if you're doing for football pitch, then um, you need to know the size uh, in length and in width of the football pitch. Don't forget that a football pitch is just like a rectangle. So basically what we're interested in here is the length and the width of the football pitch. Now from there you cannot calculate the amount of wood that they can use to um, cover the football pitch that can go around the football pitch. And of course you're likely going to take your measurement in meters. Then once you're done with measuring, then you talk about um, how to convert to fit. So that's uh, a straightforward program. So the first thing we're going to do is um, float length. That would be one of the variables you that you require for this um, uh, program because, of course, like I said, you need to measure the length and the width. So we need float length. I can actually write everything together. Width and... Um, the wood that's the wood you will need at the end of everything so you need three variables uh, two of these variables you will need to get from your um, user and uh, the third one will be calculated so because of this length and this width we will need to get something from the user and that's where the input operator will come in this can help all right so you can go ahead and have um, a scan elf to write a scan elf since what we're using is floats then of course your our uh, place marker this time around will be a percentage of I'll put that in quotes a percentage of then um comma then um you use your ampersand because it's um a kind of a pointer to the variable you're referring to so of course you have um a length then um, semicolon. So this is the syntax for the input uh, operator in C program. You have your scan elf, then um, you have your place marker. Of course, we're using elf because it's float. Assuming what we have here is integer, we'll be using D. Then your um, ampersand sign, like I said, the kind of a pointer, then um, to the variable. So you have the name of the variable you're referring to, which is length. All right. Then you will do the same thing for uh, the other variable, which is um, scan elf. Then, of course, you need a percentage of C, comma, absent sign, and um, the width. Then um, we need to calculate the amount of wood that we're going to need. So, for the wood now, since this is uh, a perimeter issue, what we're interested in is um, the perimeter of the field. That is the length, the breadth, the length, the breadth. So if you're moving around the field, you have um, two of the length and the two of the width. So we're going to have two multiply. So you do this two multiply by length. Um, plus width so if we add this together if we add this together and um, we multiply by two then of course we're going to get the perimeter that is needed for our wood but apart from that since we are also converting to feet then we need to multiply by 3.25 to convert from meter to feet if you multiply by 3.25 a 
um, any value have in meter if you multiply by 3.25 then you're going to get the fit equivalent of that um, value so we're going to do this then a semicolon then um, of course a print of let's see the amount of wood needed is then we can do um, a percentage of but I prefer this whatever answer we're going to have to be in um, two decimal places so I'm going to introduce percentage point two of then um, of course we want it to be in feet so we write that also then comma the variable which is wood semicolon so if we do this we're going to get what we want however there's something i need to explain here if you're writing a scan elf it's always better to use a printer before your scan elf so that the user will know what you're requesting for let me show you what that um we give all right you can see the cursor is blinking but we don't know why it's blinking because there's no statement telling us that okay this is what i'm expected to type so in programming it's a better practice to actually do this you know do a print out before you go ahead with your uh, input um, operation so i prefer to have something like enter the value for um length for length then of course a backslash n will be appropriate so that it should go to the next line okay so that way we know that when we see the cursor blinking the cursor is asking for the value of length then um, we can do another print of enter the value for width then dash slash n will be okay then the semicolon all right now if you run this we know that by the time the cursor is blinking for this is asking for this and when the cursor is blinking for this is asking for width so let's run that let's see what we're going to have all right you can see that it's better now enter the value for length let's say when we measure the length of the football pitch uh, we have it to be um 25.3 and when we measure the width we have it to be 16.7 so now you can see the amount of wood in that is 273.00 in two decimal places feet which is uh, very 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 okay so that's how you go about your input um operation in um, c programming you just use your scan of and you have the syntax to be as simple as this all right so we can go back to this now you can send me to us at um, info at solidconsulting.com or solidconsulting at uh, jimmy.com for more inquiries on any of the topics we've treated thank you very much for listening and um, god bless you